Today, we're going to learn how to write good. Or maybe I should be more clear. We're going to learn how to... Wait, I can be clearer than that. Today, we're going to learn the importance of editing our writing for clarity. And more specifically, editing breaking news journalism for clarity. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Dale and Pilgrim define clarity as a presentation of content that conveys an intended meaning, shows the publication's purpose, and allows for quick navigation. When you edit for clarity, and make sure that the author of a piece and the reason they wrote it is very clearly stated. Because knowing those reasons and knowing the motivations behind a piece is essential for understanding the true meaning behind it. Editing for clarity also makes sure that viewers or readers can differentiate between real news and paid announcements or advertisements as seen here. Hi, it's Vince with ShamWow. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. It's like a chamois, it's like a towel, it's like a sponge. It makes sure that a publication is easy to navigate through. And it also makes sure that the only information most important to the audience is emphasized, leaving out the less important info. But in relation to breaking news specifically, clarity is of the utmost concern because of how rapid information spreads and because of how much information is out there. No one is happy seeking out information anymore. They want it given to them clearly and concisely. One of the best ways to do this is blurring the line between mediums and combining print journalism with photos and video. A new multimedia aspect of journalism is the new frontier for the industry, although it leaves a little bit more room for a lack of clarity. No one wants to read a 1,000 word article on a car crash, and if they do, they'll only read the first 100 or 200 words. That's why it's essential to make openers or leads clear, but also concise. And having a video and a photo gallery to accompany an article also goes a long way. Viewers are more likely to turn into readers when they're drawn in with a multimedia aspect. And that being said, the multimedia aspect must be clear in the sense that it conveys the same exact info as the article. When we edit videos and photos, there's usually little copy editing to do, so we must focus on the conceptual or developmental aspects of our piece. Even if the medium is visual, is the information being relayed in the most clear and concise way? Is the media confusing at any point? Is there any redundant information? All of these questions are important to consider for the clarity of breaking news. Hi, I'm Dave Gregu, one of the editors here at Conan. We actually really like the new version of Final Cut Pro. We used it to edit the video you're watching right now. Hey, this is Dan Doan, one of the editors from Final Interface for Final Cut X. The best of iTunes and iMovie all right inside Final Cut X. That's great. Hey, my name is Rob Ash. What I really like about the magnetic timeline is it allows me to put everything in the right sequence and to keep everything in sync. It also makes it very easy to animate titles like this. Final Cut X also makes it really easy to match color between two different scenes. The new interface for Final Cut X is awesome. It allows you to tag all your clips so you can always find the clip that you need. The new interface for Final Cut X is awesome. Oh, and the last thing I want to mention is As we can see here, editing makes all the difference. As soon as a mistake is made on a title, or a cut, or a caption of a photo, an audience can misconstrue meaning as something totally different. And in the same way, if a lead on a news story is unclear, the same thing can and most likely will happen. So obviously, editing for clarity in breaking news journalism should be put on a pedestal and worshipped. If it wasn't for the tedious efforts of managing editors everywhere, a lot of print stories could and probably would be released with wrong or just misleading information. And if it wasn't for the tedious efforts of photo and video editors everywhere, a lot of multimedia aspects would be released with the same problems. So, it's easy to see that editing for clarity is of the utmost concern in all written pieces, but specifically print and video and photojournalism.